First of all, it's for sure the story of Durga Puja and the Dushara festival is really interesting. Though it is only believed by Hindu community, but this story can give a lesson to all humankind. So you need not to be Hindu to have this lesson or enjoy this tale. So let's go. In this video, we would put forward to the story of Goddess Durga and her victory over Mahishashur. Before we dig into this, I want to inform you that Durga Puja in October is called Akalvadan. Now, Akalvadan means worship or invocation of Durga in an uncustomary time. It is given this name since the period of this worship differs from the conventional period, which is during spring. So now let's know the story of Dushera. When Ravan kidnapped Sita, Ram waged a war against him to free his beloved wife. During this war, Rama invoked goddess Durga to seek her blessings. But while performing the heaven, he needed 108 blue lotus. But one lotus was missing. In order to compensate that, he was ready to complete the puja by placing his lotus shaped eye. This is interesting. On seeing the devotion and dedication, Ma Durga blessed her and he killed Ravan at the junction of Mahashtami, which is 8th day of the festival Durga Puja, and freed Shita from the evil clutches. On Dushera, Ravan was cremated. This was the story of Dushera. So for remembering that day, Hindu community every year perform Dushera festival. Before starting the story of Devi Durga, I want to confirm you that Hindu community believe in one creator. Many people misunderstand this. They think they have multiple creator, but this is not. They believe in one creator and the God and God is that we see they are the form of that creator. And that is termed as Devi and Devatas in Hindu scripture. Now let's go to the story of of Devi Durga and her victory over the devil Mahishashur. According to the scripture, the buffalo demon Mahishashur was the king of the Oshur clan, which is devil clan. He once mediated for years to be blessed by Lord Brahma and remain immortal in his rest of the life. His determined meditation satisfied Lord Brahma and he blessed him with immortality. Mahishashur was blessed with the power of deception and was master in taking any form according to his wish and deceive people. And here comes an interesting point. On an occasion, he took the form of lady and went to an ashram where the sages were performing yoga. Disguised as a lady, Mahishashur spoiled the puja or worshipping annoying the sages. He was cursed to be killed by a lady as he deceived them as a woman. His torture and winning spree of hell, earth, heaven continued. Now when he dethroned the gods from heaven, all the god and goddess went to Lord Shiva for help. From the energy of Trideva, Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesha, Devi Durga was born to fight the buffalo demon. She got the face of Shiva, ten arms from the Lord Vishnu and the feet from the Brahma. All other gods gave her different weapons like tridents, corns, swords, thunderbolts, spears, and decorated her with armor and jewels. The Lord of Mountains gave her the lion to ride. She killed Mahishashur and established big tree of good over evil. Isn't it interesting? To make it more interesting, I want to let you know about some facts of Durga Puja. Nine aspects of Mother Durga is worshipped in the nine days of Navratri or Durga Puja. Durga is often addressed as Durga Tinashini, which implies she is the slayer of all evils and sufferings in one's life. There are so many other facts, but the most interesting facts is that to make the idol of the goddess Durga, the soil of brothel is must. It seems little bit contradictory, but the reason explained. It is considered that before entering the brothel, people leave all their purity at the threshold of the brothel, making it highly pious and virtuous. So the pure clay from the interest of the brothel is baked and applied on the straw framework of the idol of the goddess. Some others are worshipping of Kolabo, that is banana tree wife, Kumari Puja, Kumari means virgin, and the lighting of 108 lamps during Ashtami Puja, which is the eighth day of the festival, are also very interesting. Devi Durga is worshipped in various forms, sometimes as vanquisher of evil, and sometimes benevolent and nurturing like a mother. She is the epitome of the true women, or what we call women empowerment. Durga Puja is not just a festival, it has a message for the mankind. No matter how much powerful evil is, ultimately it will slay by good and true always chimes. Hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe and follow the magnificent tales to watch more magnificent tales like this. See you in the next video. Happy Durga Puja.